any hope I had left for this club has now been extinguished. <laughs> I, I just can't believe it. Like Manchester City must have been planning this for so long, having that letter ready saying Pep Guardiola is going to take over for three years after Pellegrini. They must have been ready for that, ready to troll the fuck out of Ed Woodward and Manchester United. And yeah, they've done it to great effect in fairness. They, they still possibly could win four trophies this season. And they have a manager lined up, a world-class manager, might I add, one of the best in the world, to take over them for three years, who specialises in taking ready-made teams, making a few tweaks here and there, and deploying his amazing tactics to make them flourish, make them even better. Now, people saying that he might flop in the Premier League, you have to look at his... his track record and you've got to look at Manchester City squad it's well above anyone else in the leagues and the only reason that they're not performing to their to the standards they should be with the level of quality they have in that team is because Manuel Pellegrini is not good enough and now that they're going to get Pep Guardiola big names will come in as well so they'll have an even better squad with even better chances now the only hope Manchester United have at the minute is hiring Jose Mourinho. There's talk of Diego Simeone, of Conte, I, I don't know how you say his name, but you know who I mean. All these other managers, but personally, Mourinho is the one we need. I would take Diego Simeone in a heartbeat, but he'll be too hard to pry away from Atletico Madrid, I think. And personally, I think he'd suit a team like Chelsea more than us. Jose Mourinho is ready-made. And if we do not take him up, and you know sign him for next season this season all right let's forget about it we didn't sign anyone in january we got rid of seven players our squad went from super slim to full-blown anorexia and uh yeah we, we brought no one in oh, oh silly me silly me we brought yanazai back from borussia dortmund on loan oh, terrific he's going to solve over all our problems nothing against yanazai but seriously we don't even have a first team fullback that is fit Yes, some are coming back from March, but what are we going to do for that month? Go on another eight unbeaten streak, and after one 1-0 one scrappy win, we'll give Louis van Gaal an extra four years at the club. Just, oh, Jesus Christ. We're stuck with Dutch Hitler, and Manchester City have, have Pep Guardiola after this season, and the chance of winning four trophies, as I mentioned. But, um... Yeah, like, uh, I don't blame Pep Guardiola for going for that team. It's also announced that we didn't even try and get in by uh, Sky Sports and BBC. We didn't even try and contest with Manchester City. So, uh, yeah, there's that to look forward to. Um, well, just knowing that, you know, our club knows nothing about footballing matters. I did say I wanted Jose Mourinho ahead of Pep Guardiola. I don't change that statement, but I have no faith that our club will get Jose Mourinho. That is the only reason we can still contend with Man uh, Manchester City now, hiring him. As I said, though, this season is now over because we're not getting top four. We got no signings in January and we didn't strengthen. We've weakened our side and, yeah, we're supposed to challenge for Europa League, FA Cup and Premier League and we're five points off fourth now and the four teams above us all except Manchester City, who obviously have got Pep Guardiola, so the players will be trying to perform to show that they're worthy of staying there. So, in a way, they have strengthened. But the other three teams, Leicester, Spurs, Arsenal, have all signed someone. Admittedly, Arsenal only signed El El Amini. I can't pronounce his name, but still, they're a strong team as well. So, we're not getting top four. Those four teams will, but we're not. So, this season might as well effectively be over, unless we can somehow miraculously get a cup run. But, um, yeah, we've got to look to the future. And if we do not hire Jose Mourinho in summer, we're just going to turn into Liverpool. We really are. Like, I swear, if we if we let Louis van Gaal see out his contract or we give it to Ryan Giggs, we're fucked. Because I reckon Diego Simeone will go to Chelsea, in my opinion. Pep Guardiola has already announced at Manchester City. Wenger... I'd, I'd, you know, there's slight hope there for uh, us to maybe challenge with Arsenal, kind of, depending on what they do. But, um, yeah, and you've also got Pochettino at Spurs. There's links with us, but no, he's not going to leave, let's be honest. Spurs have such a good young team, and they, they, they are underrated. They really are. They just need a little bit more depth, and they've got a world-class squad. They really do. Um, and there's also the small matter of Jürgen Klopp for Liverpool as well, so... If we do give the job to uh, Dutch Hitler or Ryan Giggs, we're fucked. As I say, Mourinho is the, is the only option for our club. I, I don't care what anyone says. He literally is. There are so many reasons for it. I've been through it countless times, but I thought I'd do a, a wrap-up of the January transfer window for us. 
and uh, yeah, uh, welcome to all our amazing signings. Absolutely fucking no one. I just, ah, uh, I don't understand. I really don't understand. You look at clubs like Newcastle, who've never shown much ambition in recent years. Let's be honest, but you know when when they're scared of getting a second relegation, they they like, uh, even Mike Ashley's like shit. I'm gonna have to spend. And what does he do? He gets the two record transfer deals and also tries to break that again by getting Berahino, but West Brom reject that. They've signed uh, a winger, which they desperately needed. They've signed a striker, which they needed. Uh, admittedly, they might not be the greatest players in the world, but they've signed a holding midfielder or someone who can pass the ball in the midfield, which they needed. Um, I'm probably missing some other signings that they've made, but they, they've they've looked at their problems in their squad. Oh, okay, they haven't eradicated all of them because I think they still need a left back, but they've at least tried. And what have we done? We need a winger. We need a striker, we need a centre-back, we need a full-back. And we've signed no one. Like, I just don't get it. Are, are we writing this season off now already? Seriously, I, I am as a fan because it, it's just going to be painful watching the ending of this season. It's going to be like 2013-14 slash season under Moyes again. Although we'll probably score less and fin maybe even finish lower than what we did. Seventh. So, yeah, it, it feels as though the club have already got rid of this season. So... The small grain of hope I have, hopes that we sign Jose Mourinho in the summer. And I've said that countless times, but that is the only thing that's going to make us compete with particularly Manchester City. They're not going to overtake us for a fucking long time because of Sir Alex Ferguson. The amount of titles he won for us, they're not going to catch up to that for a, a long, long time. But if we're not careful and if we don't make the right appointment, we could seriously turn out like Liverpool. We really can. I'm, I'm worried now. I really am worried purely because there's no one in in our hierarchy that knows anything about football and it, it worries the fuck out of me if we don't get a director of football don't get someone who knows footballing matters and can make the right decisions for the club we're gonna go backwards and yeah I, i'm seriously scared as a fan i really am um we've proved that we sh we have no ambition this window so all we can hope is we get the right man and then maybe a director of football next year and we can contend like seriously that's that's my honest opinion you <laughs> i don't know what you're gonna make of this video or whatever but i'm always honest i i'm not biased or i try not to be as much as i can and this is the honest truth <laughs> i'm i'm actually really scared all right as a fan and that is the honest truth and i never thought i'd say that i thought our club had a brain but it's proved countless times this season that it doesn't the fact that louis van Gaal is still in charge the fact that we signed no January transfers when we needed so much. We needed strengthening and we got rid of seven players. There might be fringe in under-21s, but we didn't even sign anyone. Not even anyone. There was rumours of Debushi, who I didn't want. That was the one transfer I didn't want to see happen because he's just another injury-prone fullback who's absolutely shite and got replaced by Chambers, then Bellerin for Arsenal. Bellerin's really good, but Chambers is he's, he's okay. But the fact that he was better than Debushi tells you everything but you know even if we'd signed him at least it would have been someone but no no one so i'm worried i just want to eradicate this season from history let me know your thoughts if you're a manchester united fan and uh yeah i'll do another january transfer roundup of the transfers that i think were the best tomorrow's video and then i'll continue with my football manager series who performs best and the uh, the series I've got with uh, Niall, Sleepy Beast HD Premier League pick, I think. So hopefully you do enjoy that. But uh, yeah, I'll end this video here. Let me know your thoughts in the comments.